Hey guys, I'm Jennings Couch, and I'm gonna talk to you about my brand new EP, On the Edge of Change. So I get a lot of questions like, what inspires my songwriting? How do I get ideas for songs? How do, why do I write about what I do? Um, and honestly, there's, there's no single answer for that. You know, I get inspiration from everywhere, from other artists, from other bands, from things people say. I'm always taking notes in my head when I hear, uh, you know, a quotation or I hear a line or somebody says something that I think is quite cool. I'll remember it or write it, write it down on my phone and it becomes a new song idea. You know, for instance, You Taste Like Water, I've had that idea, f I've had that idea in the back of my head for like five or six years now. I knew it was there, I knew the idea was solid behind the song, and uh, I can't tell you, it's an amazing feeling to have an idea f for that long and finally get it out. I mean, just like such a release. We fall back to the old ways, act like it's a school day, making up shit about someone, try to start a revolution. So some of my biggest influences, I mean, I, I get influences from everywhere, from all types of music, but my biggest influences are more alternative bands like 21 Pilots, uh, Imagine Dragons, people like that who have a, a blend of organic and electronic sounds, uh, but also a blending of genres, rock, metal, hip hop, rap, you know, pop in general. Uh, it's an amazing mishmash of of genres, which really inspires me, because I, you know, I don't like to write in just one genre. I want to add all those elements into my song, but still make it commercial. So paint me right, song by song explanation. So the lead single on the EP is "You Taste Like Water." I just had to stick it on the top of this EP as the lead single. The idea behind the song, it's looking at the positives and negatives of social media and how we use it. You know, just the title, You Taste Like Water, you know, it could be a good thing, could be a bad thing, I don't know. And I like that irony, I like leaving it up to you guys to decide whether it's a good or a bad thing. It sort of falls in the category of social media, social change, um, and a bit of a revolution in that sense. So, you know, I had to stick it at the top of this EP because that's sort of the embodiment of what this work is about. Mistakes Like You, yeah, this is a brand new track done by Kevin Malpass, the producer in France. The song is really about manipulation um, and sort of the push and pull or the yin and yang um, in your mind, you know. We want what we can't have or we want what we shouldn't have, you know. We know it's bad for us, but we're still drawn to it. That's what this song is about. It's about that cognitive dissonance in your mind when we're faced with situations like that. I don't Override, yeah, this is, um, this is a new track done by Kevin as well in France and um, it's sort of, you know, the ballad or the, the softest track on this record. It's really simple, it's about just feeling a little lost in life, you know, a little lost in your relationship, a little lost in your career. We all have those days where you wake up and you just, you don't know what you're doing or why you're doing it and you doubt yourself, you lose all your confidence. You know, we've all had those days and that's, that's really what this song is about. I draw a little cross. Chemical Roulette, um, this was released a few months ago, done by Golzar, who works from South London. You know, it's about, it's about chance, it's about taking a chance and taking risks. So yeah, I think Chemical Roulette, um, really reflects what my idea for this EP uh, quite well. You know, it's about taking risks, playing games with, with, the, with your mind or whatever. The song is really about getting out there and just doing what you want in life. Just, you know, following your dreams, following your path, because you've only got one shot. You know, we've got one life. 
uh, and that's exactly what this song is about. So I think it ties in quite nicely with my idea for this EP, which is stepping back and looking at reality and society as a whole um, and how it's changing. We're almost having many revolutions all the time, um, and that's why I decided to call the, the EP On the Edge of Change. This body of work finishes with a song called March On and um, this is sort of my only climate stroke political song that I've ever written but I had to write a climate song because it's one of the biggest things happening in the world right now aside from coronavirus of course but we're not going to get into that <laughs> but yeah climate change and saving the environment in general uh, is a very important topic to me so I just had to have a song about it. And also, th this song sort of has a real sense of unification and coming together. Um, you know, the end, it's just loads of crowds chanting and everything. And I just thought I had to go out with this song, you know, on the record. Through my music and the artwork that goes with all the singles and the EP, I'm really trying to grab onto like a moment in this time that we live in. You know, we live in such a crazy age with social media. Connectivity is, is instantaneous all over the world. There are pros and cons to that, obviously. And through my music, I like to explore those kind of ideas, sort of opening up the mind, you know, thinking about wider things, bigger things. I sort of take the social media angle, the looking at the pros and cons and talking about them in my music. Um, I think that's that's what I do when I write. So guys, thank you so incredibly much for all your support and following me through this absolutely crazy journey that I'm on at the moment. There's so much more to come and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. So keep your eyes open, stay tuned and stay safe. Motion.